Hello everyone and uh, welcome to uh, this class. So in this class, we are going to consolidate what we have learned in the previous sessions. Um, so let's start. So um, let's first start in uh, um, in a seated position. So bend your legs and sit back on your heels. If you can't sit back on your heels, you can place a block between your hips and your heels so your hips are supported. Hands on your knees, inhale, lengthen your spine, make sure your torso is on top of your hips. Now we're going to start with a breathing practice. So um, this time, place your hands um, on the sides of your abdomen and uh, your uh, ribs. And I invite you to close your eyes and immerse yourself with this short breathing breathing practice. So start to be aware how you're breathing at this moment, at the beginning of this class. Let's go all the thoughts in your mind. The daily acti activities before this class. The to-do list afterwards. Just let them go. And appreciate the time at the moment for yourself, for your yoga practice. Start to lengthen your inhalation and your exhalation. And your inhale Feel the roundness in your abdomen, the expansion of the abdomen area. When you exhale, feel the contraction in the abdomen area. Maybe start to count your breath to even your inhalation and your exhalation. Try to breathe deeply into your abdomen, into your belly. Now, release your hands on top of your knees. Maybe come back to your normal breathing pattern. Slowly open up your eyes. And let's begin with this class. So we're going to start with a tabletop to warm up our body. So make sure your, um, your hands are under your shoulders 
your knees are under your hips, feet flat on the mat. Maybe um, draw your shoulder blades back and down, lean slightly forward, look to the front, nasal your spine. Inhale, draw your shoulder blades back, shoulder blades towards each other, open up your chest, look to the front. Exhale, round your upper back, look between your legs. Feel your shoulder blades are moving away from each other. Inhale forward, shoulder blades back and towards each other. Exhale, round, shoulders away from each other. One more time, inhale forward. Exhale, round. Now come back to the tabletop again. This time, inhale, lift up your right arm forward at your shoulder level, and then keep your balance and lift up your left leg to the back. Left, point your left heel backwards to the nether spine. Look to the front, engage your core. And now see if you can bend your legs and use your right hand to find your left ankle. Look to the front and maybe lift up your leg, your leg against your right hand. Look to the front, engage your core, open up your chest. Exhale, release the pose. Let's do this on the other side. So. Find your alignment. Inhale, look to the front. This time, lift up your left arm to the front. Lift up your right leg to the back. Point your right heel back towards the back. Look to the front, engage your core. Find your balance and then bend your right leg Left hand, find your right ankle and clasp it. And then inhale. Try to lift up your right leg at the back. And right foot against your left hand. Look to the front. Engage your core, open up your chest. And then lower it down. Back into your tabletop. Now let's tuck your toes in, lift up your hip into a downward dog. So this is our first downward dog. We may toggle our feet on the mat. And then swing your hips from one side to the other side to stretch the sides of our body. And now come back to your stillness. If your hamstrings are tight, you may bend your legs. Your heels may be lifted. Or if you are quite comfortable or your legs are very flexible, you may lower down your knees on the mat, try to straighten your legs, press your hands on the mat, mat your spine, inhale between your hands, lift up your heels, keep your try to keep your legs straight, walk your feet towards your hands, really press your hands down on the mat, so the weight is on your hands, and then into forward fold, soften your knees, Keep your lower back straight, look between your hands, maybe straighten your legs a little bit to stretch your hamstrings. Inhale halfway up, look to the front, let your spine, exhale fold. Inhale, soften your knees, roll up one vertebra by one vertebra. Your head comes up last, hands by your hips, 
palms to the front, to your shoulder blades back and down. And let's begin with a sun salutation flow. Inhale, hands up on top of the shoulders, shoulder blades back and down, engage your core, exhale, bend towards the back slightly, bend up your chest, look straight ahead or slightly up towards the ceiling, exhale up, inhale, hands down in front of your heart, hinge from your hips, soften your knees and exhale, bend forward and then down, fold your chest, your upper body towards your legs, keep your lower back straight, inhale halfway up, then through your spine, exhale, fold one more time, hands flat on your mat, and your shoulders, this time walk your right foot back into your lower lunge, make sure your hips are squared, look to the front, and through your spine, sink both hips, towards the mat, right hand flat on the mat under your right shoulder, inhale, lift up your left hand, open up your chest to the left, maybe lean back slightly, open up your chest, left chest a bit more, exhale, left hand down under your left shoulder, walk back into a plank, lowering down your hips, keep a straight line in your body, engage your core, look to the front, Exhale, lowering down your knees on the mat. Bend your arms, look forward into Chaturanga. Release your abdomen on the mat. Inhale, lift up into a baby cobra. Open up your chest. Shoulder blades back and down. Exhale, tuck your toes in. Lift up your hip. Back and up into the downward dog. Really press your hands on the mat. Center your chest back closer to your legs to lengthen your spine. Inhale, right leg to the back, hips are squared. Look between your hands, exhale, lowering down your right leg, right foot to the front in the lower lunge. Hips are squared, lengthen your spine, left foot flat under, on the mat under your shoulder. Inhale, right arm. Up, open up your chest to the right, maybe lean back slightly. You have a bigger opening in your chest. Exhale, right hand down. And then inhale, walk your left foot to meet your right foot at the front. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Look to the front. Exhale, fold one more time. Inhale, soften your knees, roll up one vertebrae by one vertebrae. Lift up your hands on top of your shoulders. Lift your spine, exhale, bend towards the back. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands down in front of your heart. Inhale, soften your knees, hinge from your hips and bend forward and down. Chest closer to your legs, hands and shins on the mat. Soften your knees. If your hamstrings are tight, inhale halfway up, and then your spine. Exhale, fold. Bend your legs this time, and walk your left leg, left foot back into a lower lunge. Then your spine, look forward. Left hand under your left shoulder. Inhale, right arm up. Lean back slightly, open up your chest. Exhale, right hand down. Walk back into your plank. Look to the front, engage your core. Exhale, knees down. Bend your arms into Chaturanga. Then release your abdomen. Hand and feet flat on the mat. Inhale, lift up. Maybe lift up a bit higher this time into the cobra pose, open up your chest, inhale, tuck your toes in, lift up your hips into the downward dog. Inhale, left leg to the back, hips are squared, look between your hands, 
Exhale, lower down your left foot to the front, into the lower lunge. Quietly, slowly, right hand on the mat and the shoulder. Inhale, lift up your left arm, lean back, open up your left chest. And then exhale, left hand down, walk your right foot to meet your left foot at the front. Fold forward, inhale halfway up, lengthen your spine, exhale, fold. Maybe lean slightly forward and straighten your legs slightly more to stretch your hamstrings, look between your legs, keep your lower back straight, then soften your knees. Inhale, come up, one vertebrae by one vertebrae. Your head comes up first. Arms by your sides, palms facing to the front. I invite you to close your eyes for a few moments to be aware how you're breathing now. Feel the heat generated in your body. Now slowly open up your eyes. Let's continue with the sense rotation sequence. Inhale, hands up on top of your shoulders. Engage your core, exhale, bend towards the back. Open up your chest. Inhale up, exhale, hands down in front of your heart. Inhale, lean forward, hinge from your hips, soften your knees. Hands on your shins on the mat. Chest pose to your legs, keep your lower back straight. Inhale, halfway up, then to your spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your legs, hands flat on the mat, walk back into your plank pose. Lower down your hips to keep a straight line, look to the front, engage your core, and then soften your knees on the mat. And feet flat on the mat, bend your arms into Chaturanga, look to the front, and then release your abdomen. You can lift up into a cobra, open up your chest. Exhale, tuck your toes in, lift up your hip, hips to the back, into a downward dog. Make sure your hands are shoulder distance apart, feet are hips distance apart. Send your chest towards your legs to lengthen your spine. Inhale, right leg up to the back. Hips are spread. Look between your hands. Exhale, lower down your right foot to the front. Uh, heel heel alignment. So make sure bo both feet are flat on the mat. Knees pointing to the front. Hands on your hips and then come up. Make fine adjustment. Really press uh, the left foot on the mat to keep your left hip squared with your right hip. Inhale, lift up. Your torso is upright on top of your hips. Your right knee is pointing to the front. Already feel the stretch along the left leg. Inhale, hands up on top of your shoulders. Draw your shoulder blades back and down. Inhale, engage your core. Exhale, bend towards the back. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands down in front of your mat. And then walk back into your plank. And then let's skip the flow and come back into a downward dog. Inhale, left leg up. Hips are squared, look between your hands. Lower down your left leg to the front. Heel, heel alignment. Make sure both feet are flat on the mat. 
bend your left leg and then hands on your hips and come up. Warrior one legs. Make sure your hips are square to the front by really pressing your right foot at the back. So your right hip is forward, aligned with your left hip. Torso upright on top of your hips. Engage your core. Inhale, lift up your hands on top of your shoulders. Lengthen your spine. Engage your core. Exhale, bend towards the back. Look forward or, sl or slightly up towards the ceiling. Inhale up, exhale, lying down your hands on the mat, under your shoulders, into a plank again, look to the front, get your core, exhale back into a downward dog. So let's repeat um, warrior one one more time on both sides, inhale right leg up, hips are squared, feel the stretch in your Left leg, look between your hands, lying down your right foot to the front, heel heel alignment, both feet flat on the mat. Hands on your hips come up. So this time, inhale, lift up your hands to at your shoulder level to the front, palms facing up, and then um, right arm under your left arm. Bend both arms, so into this eagle arm. Uh, right fingers of your right hand touching the palm of your left hand. Lift up your elbows aligned with, with your face. You can stay there or inhale, engage your core, maintain your spine. Exhale, bend towards the back. Maybe elbows pointing up, hands towards the back, open up your chest. Inhale up, and then let's keep the ego arm. Inhale, lean forward, 45 degree, look to the front. Maybe Draw your right hip towards the midline and then keep lowering down as far as you can. Keep your spine straight, really press your left foot down the mat to lengthen your spine. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lowering down your hip, lowering down your torso, maybe right angle, right shoulder meet your right knee. Open up your mm, arms, maybe your left hand on the mat. Look at your right, right foot. Try to keep your hips squared to the midline. And then release the pose, release your arms, hands on the mat. Walk back into plank. Lowering down your knees on the mat. Feet flat, bend your arms into your chaturanga, look to the front, and then release your abdomen. Inhale, lift up into a cobra pose. Open up your chest. Exhale, tuck your toes in, lift up your hips into a downward dog. Fingers are widely spread on the mat. Let's repeat it on the other side. So inhale, lift up your left leg to the back. Hips are squared, look between your hands. Exhale, lying down your right foot to the front, heel heel alignment. Okay, hands flat on the hands flat on the mat. Oh no. Uh, hands on your hips, inhale, come up. Okay, check your alignment. Torso on top of your hips. Really press your right foot at the back to square your hips. So 
So this time, inhale, lift up your arms to the front, palms up. This time, lowering down your left arm under your right arm. Uh, fold both arms, finger, palm touching. Lift up your elbows, align with your face. Inhale, lift your spine, engage your core. Exhale, bend towards the back. Lift up your elbows, hands back. Inhale up. Keep your eagle arms. This time, inhale, lean forward, 45 degree. Third opening at the other side of your thigh muscles. And then keep lowering down. Really press your right foot on the mat to net your spine. Look to the front. Maybe your left shoulder meet your left knee. If not, that's fine. Maybe lowering down your hands on the mat. And then release the pose, hands flat on the mat into a plank. Look to the front. Lowering down your knees, feet flat, bend your arms, chaturanga. Release your abdomen, inhale, lift up into a cobra. And then tuck your toes in, lift up your hips into a downward dog. Fingers widely spread, feet are hips. Stands apart. Let's rest here for a few breaths. Maybe engage, do a jai breathing to help you control your breaths. Send your chest close to your legs to let your spine. Inhale, look between your hands, walk your, lift up your heels, walk your feet towards your hands, press your hands on the mat, try to keep your legs straight, your forward fold, soften your knees, maybe cross the opposite elbow, and swing from one side to the other side, and then hands down on the mat, inhale halfway up, let your spine, Exhale down, fold again. Inhale, soften your knees, roll up one vertebrae by one vertebrae. Inhale, lift up your hands on top of your shoulders, and your spine. Exhale, hands down in front of your chest. Take a few breaths to be aware how you are breathing now. Maybe engage the Ujjayi breathing to slow down your inhalations and your exhalations. Now let's continue with the flow. Inhale, hands up on top of your shoulders. Exhale, bend back. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, soften your knees, hinge forward, hinge from your hips, lean forward and down, fold into the forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, let your spine, exhale, fold. Hands flat on the mat, walk your feet back into a plank. This time you may try the full chaturanga or drop your knees down on the mat. So. Lowering down your chest and then knees down. Inhale, lift up into a cobra pose. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift up your hips into a downward dog. Really send your chest back to lengthen your spine. 
Inhale, lift up your right leg to the back, hips are squared. Look between your hands and lower your right foot to the front. This time, heel arch alignment. So the arch of your left foot aligned with the heel of your right foot. Hands on your hips and then come up. Adjust your alignment. Really press the outer side of your left foot on the mat to um, keep your left hip in the midline. Right knee turning to the front. Okay, so really tuck your tailbone down to lengthen your lower back. Engage your core. Inhale, hands at your shoulder level. So let's do a dynamic flow. So uh, left hand down on your left leg, right palm to the front. Inhale, bend backwards into reverse warrior. Lengthen the outer side, the right side of your body. Inhale up, left hand down your hip, right hand uh, to the front. Inhale and reach forward, left hip back. And then lowering down your right elbow on your right knee, open up your chest to the front. Inhale, lift up your left arm. Left arm aligned with your body by your ear. Feel the stretch in the left side of your body. Look at your left hand or straight forward. Inhale, soften your arms and uh, come up. Let's repeat this flow two more times. So hands at your shoulder level, inhale, left hand down, right palm up, in, and then um, bend backwards into reverse warrior. Inhale up, exhale, lean forward, reach forward, and then right elbow on, the, on your right knee. Open up your chest to the front. Inhale, lift up your left arm by your ear. And then exhale, come up. One more time. Inhale, left hand down, right palm up. Exhale, bend towards the back. Inhale, up. Right hand to the front. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, left hand on the Right elbow on the right knee. Open up your chest to the front. Exhale, left arm by your ear. Lengthen your, the left side of your body. Inhale up. Now let's hold in warrior two for a few breaths. Adjust your alignment, engage your core. Hands at your shoulder level. Look to the front at your right. Hand, maybe soften your elbows if you are hyper flexible. Feel the opening in your right hip, stretch in your left leg, and then hands down into the front of the mat, or back into a plank. Again, knee down chaturanga or full chaturanga. And then knees down, flat, feet flat. Inhale, lift up into a cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes in, lift up your hips into a downward dog. Let's repeat it on the other side. Inhale, left leg to the back, look between your hands. Hips are squared. Exhale, lowering down your left foot to the front. Heel arch alignment. And then Come up, adjust your alignment, press the outer side of your right foot on the mat, keep your right hip in the midline, turn your left knee so it's pointing to the front, feel the opening in your hips, tuck your tailbone down, lengthen your lower back, hands at your shoulder level, look to the front, inhale, right hand down, left palm up, exhale, bend towards the back, Reverse warrior, lengthen the left side of your body. Inhale up, and 
left arm to the front, lean forward, reach forward, and then left elbow on your left knee, open up your chest to the right side or to the front. Inhale, lift up your right arm, align with your body by your ear. Look forward or look at your right hand, feel the stretch along the right side of your body. Inhale up, let's repeat it two more times. Hands at your shoulder level. For this time, inhale, right hand down, left palm up, exhale, bend towards the back. Inhale up. Inhale, river. Warrior two, exhale, lean forward, reach forward, left elbow on your left knee, open up your chest, and exhale, right arm aligned with your body. Inhale, up, hands at your shoulder level, exhale, right hand down, left arm, palm up, inhale, back, Reverse warrior, and then exhale up, inhale forward, reaching, and then exhale, left elbow by on top of your left knee, open up your chest, hands by your ear, and then inhale up, one more time, exhale right hand down, Bend towards the back. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Inhale left elbow down. Exhale right hand along by your ear. Inhale up. This time let's keep in warrior two for a few breaths. Really press your right foot on the mat. Open up your Hips, hands, soften your elbows, palms facing down, look to the front. And then release your hands on the mat, walk back into your um, plank pose. Look to the front, knees down or full chaturanga. And then knees down. Feet flat on the mat, inhale, lift up into cobra pose. Exhale, tuck your toes in, lift up into downward dog. Let's rest here for a few breaths. Try to engage the Ujjayi breathing. To lengthen your inhalation and your exhalation. Inhale, look between your hands, lift up your heels, walk your feet towards your hands, weight on your hands, try to straighten your legs. Inhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, soften your knees. Inhale, halfway up, exhale down. Soften your knees, inhale up, hands up. And then hands down in front of your heart. Now let's walk back into the middle of the mat. Now we're going to um, do a chair pose and a variation of the chair pose to open up our hips and also stretch our hamstrings. So stand with uh, Tadasana, feet together. Inhale, bend your legs, sweep your fingers on your mat and then Lift up, maybe sit back, see if you can see your toes, hands, um, arms at your shoulder level, or maybe aligned with your torso. Engage your core, maybe tuck your tailbone down to lengthen your lower back. Look forward or between your hands, and then hands down in front of your heart. Maybe sit back a bit more. Inhale, engage your core, twist towards your right. And then right elbow 
against your left uh, left elbow against your right knee. Inhale, lift your spine. Engage your core. Exhale, rotate towards the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale to the front. Release the pose for your breath. Inhale, halfway up. Look to the front. Exhale, fold towards your legs. Then bend your legs. In back to chair pose. Check if you can see your toes. Tuck your tailbone down to lengthen your lower back. Hands at your shoulder level or maybe up. You may also look at your hands. Weight on your heels. Then lowering down your hands in front of your heart. Engage your core. Inhale, twist towards the left. And then right elbow against your left knee. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist. So the twist is from our muscle. From our abdomen muscles. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Engage your core. Exhale, twist a bit more. And then inhale to the front. Exhale, fold forward. Release the pose. And then hands flat on the mat and shoulder distance apart and walk your feet back into a downward dog. Let's rest here for a few breaths. Now look between hands, walk your Feet half, halfway up, hands on your hips and then come up. So now we're going to do the funky chair pose to open up our hips a bit more. So weight on your left leg, lift up your left kneecap to the front and then lift up your right leg, right ankle on top of your left knee, hands on your hips and then Find your balance and sit back. Keep your spine straight. Try not to lean forward. You may lower your hips down a bit more. Right hip pointing to the right. Maybe hand into prayer. Inhale up. Let's repeat it on the other side. So this time shift your weight to your right leg, right knee pointing to the front. Inhale, lift up your left leg, left ankle on top of your right knee, hands on your hips and then sit back. Bend your right leg and sit back as low as possible. Keep your lower back straight, look to the front. Maybe find a point to keep your balance. Left knee pointing to the left. Maybe hands in front of your chest into prayer. Maybe lowering down your upper body towards your leg and sit back a bit more. Inhale, up, release the pose. So now um, let's stretch our hamstrings. So feet together and walk your, step your right foot to the front. Um, if you find, uh, if you lose your balance, you may widen the horizontal stance between your feet. Or if not, then they are more or less hips distance apart, hands on your hips. Your torso are on top of your hips. 
engage your core both both legs straight now inhale hinge forward uh, hinge from your hips and lean forward really press your right foot on mat to keep the right hip squared with the left hip maybe lowering down your upper body Uh, but make sure your spine is straight. If you start to round, round your spine, then you may come up a bit. Or if you are very flexible in your legs, you may lower down your mm, torso at your hips level, look to the front. And really feel the stretch of, your, of the hamstring in your right leg. And then inhale up. Let's change side. So this time, left foot to the front. Adjust your stance between the feet, horizontally and vertically. Hands on your hips, shoulders on top of your hips. Inhale, engage your core, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lean forward, hinge from your hips. Really press the left foot on the mat. You may stay there. Oh, you can lower it down, but make sure your spine is straight. So our priority here is to keep the spine straight instead of lowering down your torso. As long as you can feel the stretch in your hamstring, then that's good enough for you. Look to the front. Inhale up. And then, okay, so that's fine. Um, now we're going to um, continue with another sun salutation flow before our final relaxation. So stand at the front of your mat, feet together, inhale, hands up, on top of your shoulders, exhale, bend towards the back, open back your chest, inhale up, exhale, hands down, in front of your heart, inhale, hinge from your hips, lean forward towards your legs, hands, and your shins, or on the mat, inhale, halfway up, exhale, forward. Hands flat on the mat, walk back into a plank, knees down, chaturanga or full chaturanga. If you're in full chaturanga, then lowering down your knees, flat your feet, release your abdomen on the mat, inhale, lift up into cobra, tuck your toes in, and lift up your hips into downward dog. So now we're going to do um, tri um, the triangle pose, Tripasana. Inhale, right leg up, square your hips. Exhale, lowering down right foot to the front. This time again, heel arch alignment. And then come up. So this time, um, the stance may be shorter than when you are doing warrior two. So hands on your hips. Um, really press the left foot on the mat. Inhale, lift up your right arm to the front. Exhale, he, uh, lean forward, right arm reaching forward. Move your left hip back, and really press your right foot on the mat, uh, right foot on the mat. And also keep your right hip in the main line, and then lowering down your right hand on your shin, or maybe on a block. Turn your chest toward the left or to the front. Imagine your left shoulder is on top of your right shoulder. And then lift up your left arm on top of your left shoulder. Make sure your left hip is back, right hip forward, so they are in the main line. If your head is, neck is tired, you may look 
straight ahead instead of looking at your left hand. Inhale up, hands at your shoulder level. Both legs are straight and then lowering down your left hand on your left leg, right palm up, and then bend towards the back into this reverse um, triangle pose. Stretch the right side of our body. Inhale up, and then right hand down. And let's um, um, this time turn your right foot 90 degrees, so feet are parallel to each other. Hands on your hips. Really lift up your hips and kneecaps to engage your legs. Inhale, hinge from your hips and lean forward. Keep your spine straight. Low to the front. Feel the stretch in your legs. Hands down on the mat. If you your hands cannot reach the mat, you may bend your legs slightly. Your left hands end between your shoulders. Inhale, lift up your right arm. Open up your chest to the right. Engage your core to help you with the twist. Ask your right hand down in between your shoulders. Inhale, left arm up. Turn your chest towards the left. Engage your core. Exhale, left hand down. Then hands on your hips, bend your legs and come up. And let's repeat it on the other side. So hands on the mat at the front, walk back into a plank, knee down chaturanga or full chaturanga. And then if you're full chaturanga, lowering down your knee, flat to your feet, release your abdomen. Inhale, lift up into cobra pose. Exhale, tuck your toes in. Lift up into downward dog. Inhale, lift up your left leg to the back. And then exhale, lowering down your left foot to the front. Heel arch alignment. Inhale, lift up. So straighten your left leg. So the stance is shorter than warrior two. Make sure your hips are in the midline. Really press the outer side of your right foot down on the mat. Okay, left arm up and lean forward, left hand reach forward. And then lower down your left hand on your left shin, open up your chest to the right side or to the front. Make sure your right hip is back in the midline. And then maybe lift up your right arm on top of your right shoulder. Inhale, melt your spine. Exhale, turn your chest a bit more towards the right side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn. Now inhale up. Both hands at your shoulder level. Then right hand down on your right leg. Left palm up. Inhale, bend towards the back. Reverse. Triangle pose. Inhale up. This time, turn your left foot in. So feet are parallel towards each other. You may uh, adjust the stance between the feet. Lift up your kneecap, hands on your hips. Really press the outer side of your feet on the mat to engage your legs. Inhale, hinge forward. Hinge from your hips and lean forward. Look to the front, feel the stretch in your legs. Exhale, hands down on the mat. Maybe walk your feet, hands back. 
and head come closer towards the mat. Feel the stretch at the outer side, at the back of your legs. Inhale, halfway up. Hands on your hips. And then bend your legs. Maybe shorten the stance between your feet. Toes out, heels in, into a squat. Okay, and now hands on your knees. Maybe lean slightly forward. Sit back a bit more. And now we're going to do a twist in this um, position. So dip your right shoulder down and twist to the left. And then back to the front. Uh, left shoulder down. Open up your chest to the right. One more time on both sides. So right shoulder down. Twist to the left. Back to the center. Left shoulder down. Twist to the right. And then up. Hello. Now let's uh, skip the flow and walk back into downward dog. Really press your hands on the mat, length of your spine. Feel the stretch in your upper back area and also in your legs. Inhale, look between your hands, walk your feet towards your hands. Press your hands on the mat and keep your legs straight. Into forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Bend your legs. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae by one vertebrae. Lift up your hands on top of your shoulders. Mountain your spine. Exhale. Lowering down your hands in front of your heart and open up your eyes. So uh, now let's um, lie down on your on your back and let's do a counter pose to before our final relaxation. So uh, make sure your Feet are flat on the mat, hips distance apart. Maybe try to keep your uh, hips as close to your heels as possible. Hands by your hips, palms facing down. So imagine there's a break between your heels. Inhale, press the feet down and lift up your hips. Really. Um, imagine there's a break between your heels and knees and try to squeeze your knees against the break to keep your uh, knees aligned with your hips. Try to lift up your uh, hips a bit further away from the mat. Maybe clasp your hands under and walk your shoulders in a bit. Lift up. When your hips are high, you may feel your chest is moving towards your chin. So the opening in your chest area. And then hand, and release your hands um, and then lowering down on the mat. Draw your legs towards your chest, hug your knees. Gently draw your knees towards your chest. Feel the stretch in your thigh, in your upper leg. And then roll from one side to the other side to massage your lower back. Now left hand down at your arm level, at your shoulder level. Use your right hand to help drop your Relax towards your right side, engage your core. Maybe your legs are on the mat. 
If not, maybe place a block under your right leg to support your legs. Maybe open up your right arm at your shoulder level. Look at your left hand. So in this supine twist, we are relaxing the muscles are along the spine. Make sure your shoulders are on the mat. Inhale, lift up your legs. Left hand on your knees. And this time, engage your core and drop your legs to the left. Hopefully, both legs are on the legs are stacked and your left leg is on the mat. If not, place a block under your left leg. Left arm opened up. Look at your right hand. Now inhale, come up. Draw your knees towards your chest one more time. And now straighten your legs. Make sure your, your uh, heels, your feet are wider than your hips. Toes pointing out. Mm, arms by your sides, palms facing up towards the ceiling. Make some space under your armpit. Tuck your chin in to lengthen your spine, to lengthen your neck. And I invite you to close your eyes in this um, Shivasana pose, corpse pose. And start to be aware how you're feeling now. Feel the support from the floor. Start to count your inhalation and your exhalation. Try to make your exhalation a bit longer than your inhalation. When you inhale, feel the rise of your belly, of your chest. When you exhale, feel the fall of your chest, of your belly. Imagine you are breathing into your whole body, reaching your fingers, your toes, Relax your head, your eyes, your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your fingers. Your lower back, your hips, your upper leg, your knees, your lower leg, your ankles, 
and heels. And the toes. Relax your whole body. Melt your whole body into the floor. Now start to be aware of the energy in the room, any sounds around you, wiggle your fingers, your toes, straighten your arms at the back. By your ears, make a full body stretch, point your heels to the back and your, and your fingers to the front or to the top, and then then your whole body, and then release the pose, roll over to your right side, then your legs, Make a pillow with your hands and rest your head, your head on your hands for a few breaths. Now, left hand down, press your left hand to help you lift up into your seated position. You may cross your legs, make sure your we are sitting on our sitting bones, hands on our knees, inhale, lift up your arms, nothing was fine, exhale, lying down your hands in front of your heart, lying down your gaze, bow your head towards your fingers, namaste. So thank you for taking this class with me and hopefully to see you next time.